bishop endings, the uh, 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 not interesting unless I think uh, the pawn's advanced and we're fighting for control of the queen e square. If uh, if black's got uh, if if black can sit on somewhere like e8, um, there's no piece that white can use to drive it away. So if the defender has got control of the queen e square, it's just a draw. Um, and if black can, can sacrifice the bishop for the pawn, that's just a draw as well. So we need to drive the queen, the, the king away from e8. We need to drive the bishop away from the uh, square on which it can sacrifice itself. And this can all be done. It can actually all be done. So uh, check from the bishop. And uh, if king to c7, we'll uh, take this diagonal and uh, actually bishop to d6 check is, is good enough um, and then we'll rush the pawn forward. So let's play a little bit more cleverly, king to c8 and uh, we'll drive the bishop away, uh, we'll go to d6 anyway and the bishop comes round to the other side. Um, now is that good enough? I'm sorry to say no. Uh, the right move here is is bishop to e5, and that's uh, that's important because uh, at the at the moment um, we've got a threat of bishop to f6. Um, uh, that's a, the, the, a critical square being controlled by king and bishop, and uh, the uh, bishop's not got enough uh, time to run around the other side of the board, and bishop to f6 is going to win. If the king tries to come back, it's going to be a fork. Um, if the uh, bishop uh, runs uh, away to somewhere like uh, d8, we're still going to be able to play bishop to f6, and white's winning this position. So really, uh, uh, really difficult foot. Well, re re really uh, accurate footwork. Not difficult footwork. Accurate footwork is needed. For white, and we're trying to drive the bishop away. They're trying to drive the king away, drive the, drive, the, drive the bishop away. It's easier towards the edge of the board, to be honest, <coughs> because if the if this is a knight puts pawn, um, there are very few squares on the uh, on the right of the pawn to be controlled. And uh, if your king's anywhere near there, you can uh, work work your uh, bishop around and force the enemy king away and the enemy bishop away. That's a lot easier towards the edge of the board. So bishops. Uh, bishop against bishop, when they're the same colour at least, is uh, is important stuff. So that's that one. Let's have a look at a related position <coughs> where uh, the it is different only in the position of the black king. Um, and actually, you think well, perhaps the black king's worse because it's further away. Um, actually, it's in a strange way it isn't. Let's have a little look. Um, it's closer to the back of the pawn and uh, can nip round. Do you remember how important this square was? Uh, the black king can nip around to that, uh, cover that square. So bishop to f2, bishop to a3, difficult stuff. Uh, bishop to h4, uh, bishop to b2. Now bishop to f6 is going to win, but king f5. So coming around the back of the pawn in this case. Uh, was important, and so the uh, uh, I think there's a famous end game that uh, uh, Fisher won uh, with this sort of position. It had been studied years before by Centurini, and uh, anyhow, coming around the back of the pawn is the way to, to draw it. Uh, Capablanca won a game against Janowski. Janowski didn't know that idea, and uh, but Fisher did, and was able to show a win very quickly. Um, so, uh, two related positions showing how to win and how to defend in, in bishop's endings.